another gorgeous day, another gorgeous spa. I am going for my massage. I'll talk to you in a bit. So I just had my massage and I'm all relaxed now. Uh, let's talk mafia. So this island is the best kept secret of Tanzania. While Zanzibar has become really, really famous and everyone wants to go there, the footfall here for tourists is really, really low. And this place is amazing for that reason. It's very raw. It's still very, very natural. The culture here is pristine. People are absolutely nice and friendly. And this place is just stunning. And don't forget, you can see whale sharks here. Whale sharks, the biggest fish in the entire world. It, this place is intense. In terms of food, there's not much in terms of restaurants here, but most of the hotels, resorts have their own restaurants, which are great. So getting here is not that easy. Basically, you need to take a plane, those small 14 seat planes where you can see what the pilot is doing. And you can see the plane landing and taking off with the pilot, those. And there's only three airlines that fly at the moment. Um, Auric Air, Coastal Air and Tropical Air. You can check their schedules on Skyscanner. Isn't this the cutest place? This is what the petrol pump looks like. I love this place. In terms of getting around, it's quite easy. All you need is a tuk-tuk. They call it bajaji here. And you just need the number of the guy. The first ride, just take their number and they will basically take you around. It's an amazing way to travel here. And it's so convenient because the island is really, really small. Bonjour, we are going to see some whale sharks today. It's a, my second attempt. The first one was fairly wild and choppy. So the weather is really nice and calm today. So really hope we can get to see some more and more peace. There is a lot of jellyfish in the sea. So bring something to cover your legs if you're planning on getting in the water, which I don't think I will today. Look at that. It's the best start of day I've ever had in my life. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's like half nine and I feel like I've had an amazing day already. So four real sharks, we swam with them. It was just incredible. This one, it just, the biggest one, it just came and I swam past and just brushed past and oh, it's just the most incredible feeling. They're such magical creatures. Oh, can't wait to see them again. By the way, be careful. Um, we had a lot of jellyfish the first time we did it. The visibility was really poor and it was very choppy. So weather plays a huge, huge part um, in this. Today I got stung again by the jellyfish, but I wasn't so bad and it was only one sting. So I'm gonna get some vinegar. Uh, the guys here are really helpful for that. So 
we're going snorkeling today to the Bubacoon and to the Chole Island and there's a sandbank because the tide is high. So we did our first dive in Colongo Island and this one is Colongo Ishamba. It's absolutely stunning down there. There's just so much beautiful coral. And the one behind me is Colombo Ishamba. I'm gonna go do some more snorkeling. behind me is the Chole Island, this one is Drani and we are going to the Bulgun. During the low tide, you have to cross the sandbank and then walk through. And in 10 minutes, we will be at Blue Lagoon. Let's see how gorgeous it is. We're at the Blue Lagoon now, look. It's such a cute little spot, just like hidden in the middle of nowhere. And be careful, they have jellyfish. They don't bite though. Uh, but they have these teeny tiny fish and they will bite you and they can be pretty brutal. I am bleeding from one of the bites, so, but they're really tiny, like really, really tiny. part of our day is to do a little tour of the village on Chole Island and we walked through the village which basically had some old palaces and some buildings and this is the part I really enjoyed. This is a fig tree which is absolutely massive but it actually ate an entire world. It drank an entire well. So you see the thing, the periphery of this thing? That's basically around the well wall. I love this place, this is so cool. I didn't know that, but apparently the fig trees grow as parasites. So you can see behind me, that's the fig tree outside and the baobab tree inside.
Bonjour, it's a day to explore more of this beautiful island and I'm heading up north um, to the lighthouse, to some gorgeous beaches and possibly to see some hippos. And my tuk-tuk is almost here, so I'm quite excited. I hope you are too. Let's go. We just got here, it took us about two hours um, and our tuk-tuk broke down on the way so we had to get it repaired but we are here and this is the lighthouse of Ras Mukumba. So we're gonna go up but first we're going to the beach. This is Bueni Beach, which is next to the village of Bueni, which is right behind me. And we are going to stop here for a few minutes before we get to Kanga. It is quite full of seaweed, so probably not the best beach, but it's still a good stop to make. Super hungry. We're building a fire to grill our food. So I got a little board, so hired a canoe and I'm heading to that island on the other side. It's a really small canoe and can take only one person at a time, so I'm quite excited. Let's go! Because they're really small, the canoes rock a lot. And oh, since I don't know any swimming, I'm a little scared. But it's fine. I thought I'll go have fun at a nice beach, chill out, you know, meet some people and relax on the beach and eat some good food, freshly grilled. When I got here, honestly, I just don't have the words to describe how stunning this place is. This is Kanga Beach and there are so many shades of blue in every direction and the weather is so great, the water is so beautiful. Tanzania has done it again. It won't be beach without coconut water, so I got some. Mm. So it's getting cooler which means it's the perfect time to see some hippos. No hippos for us today, unfortunately. The hippos aren't playing ball. They are, I mean, we can hear them, but we can't really see anything except for the little bit I saw on my drone, which is like a teeny tiny head. Getting to 
Ross Kizimani is not that straightforward. We went completely off-road and then we got to this bridge, which is broken, trying to get to the other side. Ross Kisimani Beach um, and then walked a little bit further until I got to the village and got some food from these lovely ladies who were cooking there and now I just woke up from a really nice nap and it's just the most incredible feeling like having the entire beach to yourself and if you don't believe me look not a soul around this is an incredible place. Right here, this pier, this bridge is the best place to watch the sunset over Mafia. Look at that. 